your picnic. What happened to the boat? Whoever used it last didn't tie it up. How can we get it back? Strawberry, here! Huh? I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was... Oh! 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 Oh, oh. oh excuse me. Here, let me help you up. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> There, finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. No, I tied it up. Maybe... You forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berrykin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. 
Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I, uh, I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say. Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery. Thanks. An invitation to Plum's dance recital. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 What? Something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby Berrikins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up or, or to check if the date was taken or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <laughs> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the Baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well... I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you say Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> I think it's the best joke she's ever played. Oh boy, I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh no, that plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding! The door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. 
How about... Ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is! I'll say... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Password, please. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the docks. What? Oh, Strawberry, it's you. You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call <laughs> Mr. Longface Sir Highness Longface before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly, too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge, too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me, too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. Huh? Why are you wearing green hats? We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, I, I thank you. Oh, too bad. Guess it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't.
doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, <laughs> are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. Um, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? No. <laughs> I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dad's studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh, oh. Um, that's nice. Uh, gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. Outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jadybug. Yes, Plum? Stop. Don't move. Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum, what can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. 
Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you'd... you'd help me? After I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots! <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. Strawberry. Good morning. Would anyone like a fruit muffin before our dance rehearsal? <sighs> Doesn't look like we're having a dance rehearsal. Oh? Why not? We can't get inside the studio. Plum isn't answering the door. Maybe she's still asleep. Uh, huh? That's not right. Oh my. That doesn't sound good. Tried that. I don't think she can hear us because of the music. Yes? Oh, hi, everybody. Have you been knocking? Oh, sorry. I'm just very busy. What can I do for you? Uh, you called us here for a dance rehearsal. Bright and early? Is it bright and early already? I'm afraid so. Oh, would you like a muffin? Oh, I'm sorry. Come on in. It's just, I want it to be perfect. What's all this? My extra special super duper with a cherry on top dance routine. The one that's gonna beat the big bitty city dance team in this year's dance off. It looks, um, uh, complicated? You better believe it. Every year the big bitty city dancers pull off a super complicated routine. But this routine will top them all. Uh, but Plum, the dance off is only a week away. All this? Yeah. I don't know. Learn this dance? All in one week? We have to. Let me remind you what we're up against. In case you've forgotten the humiliation, the shame, the disappointment of last year's dance-off. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I remember having a lot of fun. If you call losing fun. They're great. Splendid! I can't wait to see what they do this year. Whose side are you on? Oh, Plum, I think the important thing is that we have a good time and do our best. That's what I'm talking about. Our best. Our perfectest. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, perfectest is not a real word. But you might say our perfect best. Well, that's what I am saying then. Our perfect best. We will win. This year, we dance perfect. Perfectly. Perfectly. Thank you, Blueberry. I'm glad you all agree. This is going to be our year. The year Berry Bitty City takes the dance-off prize. But we can't dance that perfect. Lee, Plum. Oh, we will. Just watch me. <clears throat> Music, please. like the dance we did last year. Exactly. We lost last year. Oh, but the outfits I designed were gorgeous. And I did a triple pirouette. Everyone in the audience cheered for us. It was spectacular. Do you see what's on that shelf? There isn't anything on this shelf. Except 
dust? Do you know what should be here? Uh, a dusting cloth? Uh, no! A dance-off trophy! Plum, I can see how important this is to you. And we're your friends, so you know we're going to do our very best to win that prize. Huh. Thank you, Strawberry. Finally, somebody understands. We understand, Plum. It's just... What if we help you simplify the steps a little? Yes. For example, this step could be simpler if we did just the first part. Or we could divide up the parts so each of us is doing the steps we're best at. Like, I'm really good at kicks, and Orange is so good at spins. That's a great idea. But that's not my vision. We have to do this dance. My dance. Or we won't stand a chance. Well, this is important to Plum. Let's give her way a try. All together now. Five, six, seven, eight. This foot goes here. This foot is over there. Like so. Up here and hold it just like this. And five, six, seven, eight. Since it's night. All right. Because it's our first rehearsal, I'll keep it short. <sighs> but be back here tomorrow, bright and early. And when you sleep at night, I expect you all to dream of the dance. Uh, do you think Plum's taking this too far? If you asked my feet about it, they'd say, yes. I know, but it means so much to Plum. Besides, it's only for a week, and then comes the dance-off. Oh, six more days of this? My toes are gonna fall off. Practice, practice, not a moment to lose. And five, six, seven, eight. It's how you dance the dance. Huh? <gasps> Here they come! Welcome to Very Bitty City. We are so very delighted that we can be here to dance in your always delightful dance-off. Yeah! <laughs> How can we possibly beat them? We have to work even harder. And to give us the edge, I've designed some special additions to the dance. Oh, no! More stuff to learn? But, but we haven't learned the first dance. I've designed a new hairdo for everyone to wear when we dance. It'll make us look like a team. For me, please, could you try it out? Are you sure this will work? Of course. I designed it. Oh, Raspberry, I've got an exercise to help you with your posture. Please balance this vase on your head. And whatever you do, keep it there until tomorrow. Whoa! I don't know about this. I'll have to design a whole new outfit to go with this vase. Trust me, it'll work. This is the greatest book ever written about dance. 
Please have it read by tomorrow, Blueberry. I'll try. Orange, I would appreciate it if you would pick as many glimmer berries as possible. Glimmerberry juice is super nutritious and will help give our team mega endurance. So please get tons. But tons! And me? Just keep practicing, even while you cook. Please, don't ever stop. Over twice and under once. Then around the side, root to ends, and back again. Huh? <laughs> oh, my hair! <laughs> These new lovely leotards are going to look spectacular. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh bitter berries! Uh oh! Tonight. We just had a very large harvest. Only the glimmer berries on top are left, and even our highest ladders cannot reach them. And there's no higher ladders? <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. Huh? <laughs> Just a little higher. Almost there. That's it. You're doing it. Huh? Oh, this is so important to Plum. And she said tons. So we're going to get tons. Tomorrow, my dancers will be so good, nothing can stop us from winning. Close! Please go away. Uh, it's me, Plum. We have one more rehearsal before the dance-off. Can't, won't, impossible, what? But I can't leave the salon. Maybe ever again. But why? Remember your new team hairdo? <laughs> Great idea, wasn't it? I can't be seen in public. People will run screaming. It's not so bad. Okay, maybe it is. I'm sorry, Plum, but I'm sure it'll work out much better without you. But, but, there has to be a way. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. Bring me an extra large paper bag to put over my head. I'll just have to replan the dance a bit. Coming! Okay, Plum, ready, willing, and able to dance off. What's that noise? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Plum, but it fell off my head and I stepped in it and it's stuck. Well, we have to get it unstuck. <laughs> 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 I have a better idea. Why, Raspberry, what are you wearing on your foot? Her new dance shoe. Looks like a vase. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum, but I'm sure it will work out better without me. But, but... Okay, okay, stay calm. I still have three other dancers. I read the whole book, Plum. It took me all night, but I did it. But now my eyes are so tired, I can't see straight. Okay, how many fingers am I holding up? Are you sure that's your hand? I thought it was your foot. <laughs> wow! I asked for tons and I got tons! This is great, Orange! Uh, Orange? Orange? Thanks for mashing all the glimmer berries into juice, but aren't you gonna come dance? No! Why? What's wrong? <gasps> what happened? 
I got some on me. Oh, I've been washing and washing what it's gonna take until tomorrow to get these stains out. But, but the dance off is today. Hi, Plum. Your feet. What happened to your feet? Uh, all that dancing while cooking you wanted me to do? Oh, it gave me blisters on my feet. I can't dance. I'm sorry, Plum. But at least the other girls can dance. No, they can't either. What? I've lost my A-team. What am I gonna do? Hmm. What about your B-team? B-team? B as in Berrykins. B as in bad dancers, you mean. They were on our team last year, remember? I think that's part of the reason why we lost. But Plum... Remember, Barry Kins have different skills, so you might want to modify the dance a bit to suit them. Well, I'll try it. I don't know what else I've got to lose. And five, six, seven, eight! Together! Stay together! <laughs> On the beat! On the beat! <laughs> Stand still! Not on your head! <laughs> stop! Stop! Please! You've got it all wrong! No! That is not the way my dance is! <clears throat> it's just about time for the dance-off, everyone! The dance off now? Welcome everyone to the annual Very Bitty City Dance Off, featuring the Big Bitty City Dancers versus the Very Bitty City Dancers. <laughs> Our distinguished panel of judges will decide the winners. First up, the Big Bitty City Dancers. dance by the Big Bitty City Dancers. And now for a short intermission before the Very Bitty City Dancers begin. Uh, I can't go on. We can never be that perfect. It would just be too humiliating for me. For you, what would it be for the Berrykins? What? The Berrykins? And what would it be for all of Berry Bitty City who pitched in to help put on this dance-off? Um, but, but... And what about the other girls who rehearsed your dance? Everyone works so hard for you. But all look silly! Maybe, maybe not. But this dance-off has to do with all of Berry Bitty City. And our guests, the Big Bitty City Dance Team, too. Not just you, Plum. Those dancers came all this way to dance for us. And to see us dance as well. But we dance like we dance. The Berrykins are different. Why not let them dance the way they dance best? Wouldn't that be more fun for them? You're right. I haven't been making this fun for anyone. Berrykin dancers? What kind of dance steps would you like to do? Oh, wiggle! Build a tower? Do some leapfrogging! Bouncing! <laughs> all right, everyone. Those are all great ideas. What do you think? Yeah! Good idea! Yes! 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 So let's dance. But don't do it my way. Let's do it our way. Let's have some fun. Yeah! Now for our second group of dancers from your very own Very Bitty City, the Very Bitty City Dancers!
This is a friendly contest. We do have to choose a winner. And it is the decision of the judges that for originality, teamwork, and enthusiasm, the winners are... the Berry Bitty City Dancers! center and playground. but I still think we get on each other's nerves. Well, can you maybe not argue for just a little while? Long enough to at least listen to the princess's ideas? The baby fairy kids are gonna go wild! They're gonna scream! They're, they're gonna love this! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you think so. 
Now, over there, I thought we could have an art station with crayons and easels and... Oh, and finger paints and modeling clay. Good ideas. And over here, some games and activities, like a... Yeah, a, a colorful, you know, a multicolored, what you call it? A hop, hip, hopscotch board. Brilliant. It'll be a first and original. The one and only High Style Playground. So, you'll do it? Yes. Oh, uh, wonderful. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, the daycare opens in two days. Do you think it could be ready by then? No problem. Oh, thank you. I'll drop by later and see how you're doing. All right. The first thing we should do is give some pizzazz to the dandelion bouncing pit. Its whole color scheme is so zero. Well, that sounds nice, but what the princess wants is style. So let's start on my hopscotch board. Your hopscotch board? Hmm? Oh, uh, I mean ours. It's just I have the perfect idea for it. Well, okay. I guess, uh, I mean, uh, no point in arguing. Of course not. Why would we want to do that? <laughs> Doesn't this look cheerful? Hand me the red paint, would you, Raspberry? Raspberry? <laughs> Raspberry? What are you doing? The kind of design work that makes a baby berry can say, wow! <laughs> I thought we were gonna work on my hopscotch board. Well, you were having so much fun painting old-fashioned decorations. I thought I'd leave you alone. Old-fashioned? Uh, it's called retro, and it's very much in style today. Yes, well, I'm sure there are people who like that sort of thing, but, um, you know, I'm going for a more trendy, grab-your-attention look since fantastic fashion is all about being daring. You know, taking design chances and all. <laughs> Yes, it's delightful. If you happen to like the chances designers were taking last year. <gasps> oh, perfect. What? <laughs> Lemon, what, what, what are you doing? Well, that daring, chancy, modern look of yours is ever so interesting, but it might be a bit, oh, bright for the baby bearkin's eyes, don't you think? No, I don't think. Well, I do. So the choice was simple. Give them sunglasses to protect them from those clashing colors. <laughs> Cute, but... Or, and this one's my personal choice, build a more eyeball-friendly and truly stylish bounce pit. <sighs> Here you go again, thinking your ideas are better than mine. Just like with the croquet poster. The croquet poster would have worked if you'd listened to my ideas, but it's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll just let the princess decide whose bounce pit is better looking. Oh. <laughs> Uh, hey, Lemon, could you grab that side of the... Oh, I forgot. Mm, never mind. Oh. Raspberry, could you give me a hand with... Oh, never mind. If Raspberry doesn't appreciate me, what's the point? I'll just let her do it however she wants. Alone! This is getting to be very not fun. If Lemon doesn't like how I do things, she can just do it all, all by herself. Ugh. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and... That's it! You got it! <laughs> nice! 
excellent. Oh, really excellent. Oh, thanks, Plum. I'm glad somebody likes what I do. Aw, I know Lemon likes your stuff. Lemon likes her stuff better. She wants to do everything her way, so I quit. Isn't that play area a two-person job? Oh, believe me, Lemon will be a lot happier alone. Well, why do you think so? Because she won't have me to argue with. Lemon. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, girls. What's everybody doing? Oh! Hey, Lemon. Uh, hi, Lemon. How are you? Getting the refreshments and entertainment ready for the grand opening of the daycare center. How's it going out there? Just great. Ooh, yummy! You girls need any help? Um... <laughs> aren't you and Raspberry working together? We were. But she thinks her ideas are better than mine. So I'm letting her do it by herself. Well, that's a big job for just one person. Doesn't it need two? Not if those two disagree on everything. Oh, so Lemon, I was just working on this new song. Tell me what you think. Um, when stormy grows the weather, it's good to work together. Uh, like birds of a feather, teamwork is feather. <laughs> So, what do you think? Oh, uh, do you have anything more, uh, heavy? Oh, Lemon, it's you. Gosh, uh, there you are. Yeah. Uh, are you, uh, finished already? What? Well, aren't you working on the playground? <gasps> aren't you? I, I thought, thought you, you were. were. I gave up so you could do it your way. Me too. Nothing got done? Hi, girls. Hi, Strawberry. Nice day. Hey, I just heard that Princess Berrykin is on her way over to see how your job is coming. <gasps> Hopefully you settled your differences and everything's... Fine. I believe you just walked out and left it like this. Uh, me? You? Well, you walked out too. If Princess Barrican sees this, she'll lose all faith in me. Well, what about me? Maybe she'll never even speak to me again. Everyone will hear about it and lose trust in me, and, and no one will come to my salon anymore. Well, what about what everyone thinks of me? My, my reputation is on the line too here, you know. If only it weren't for you and for me. What about you? Well, you walked out on the job without even telling me. So did you. Uh, but I don't work for you. I don't work for you either. Oh, blaming each other isn't solving anything. <sighs> You're right. I am? Yeah. So what do we do? Well, we've got to keep the princess from seeing this until we can get it finished. Or uh, at least cleaned up and... and Almost finished. I agree. You do? Absolutely! We got a staller. Come on! Why, hello, princess. Coming to see our work? Yes. How is it coming along, girls? Oh, just uh, splendidly. We can't wait for you to see it. Oh, but wait! Oh, dear! Oh, no! Oh, my goodness! Why, whatever is wrong, Raspberry? The, uh, chair, uh, I mean, tablecloths! Oh, my! Yes, how silly of us to forget! We can't show the princess the playground now because... She has to decide on the right fabric for the tablecloths for the lunch tables. Quickly, Princess, let's go to my fashion boutique. Oh, we're so lucky we ran into you. Oh, this plaid is nice, and this color would go fabulously with this color, don't you think? But we just don't know about these polka dots. Well, these are all nice. Uh, I do have to be getting back to the berry works. How many more?
more samples are we going to be looking at exactly? Oh, just a hundred more, give or take a few dozen. <laughs> now, about this fabric, what do you think? Stripes or checks? You keep her busy. I'll try to do some cleanup. Good idea. Uh, checks are a good idea, Lemon. Uh, Princess, could you take a look at this fabric, please? Yes, you better get going. <laughs> Oh. Huh. So, we're settled on the tablecloths, then. And a perfect choice it is. How are things going? Oh, just fine. The princess has decided on a fabulous spring floral. How are things going with you, Lemon? Oh, you know, always could use a bit more time. <laughs> well, guess you have to get going back to the berry works now. Well, I could spare a few minutes to see how it's coming along. Goodness me! The flowers! We forgot all about those, uh, special flowers. Right, Raspberry? Why, yes. The, uh, the early blooming yellow-tipped peasel puffs. Yes, oh, they're a must for any daycare nowadays. They are? I've never even heard of peasel puffs. Oh, yes! All the best daycare centers have them. I know. How about if you help us pick one? I'd be delighted. I think I see one. Just a little farther. You're almost there, Princess. Is that really a peasel puff tree? There's no such thing. That's just a dogwood tree in bloom. Okay, now grab a couple of flowers, Your Highness. All right, I've got them. <laughs> Princess, are you all right? Uh, a little dizzy, but fine. Here are your peasel puffs. Oh, the peasel puffs. They're perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry that I have to get back to the berry works, so I won't be able to visit the play area just now. Oh, really? Oh, phooey. Well, it will look a lot better in the morning when we're done. See you at the grand opening, girls. <sighs> yeah, we're in very big trouble. If only you'd listened to my idea. What makes you think you've got the only good ideas? Oh, let's not start that again. Maybe Strawberry can help us. Good idea. Race you to the cafe. You win. Oh, oh, and then the balloon went all crazy, you know, wacky. I mean, we barely got her down safely. And the play area is still unfinished. And the only thing we agree on is that we'll never finish it on time. Strawberry, we're never going to be able to work well together. <laughs> but you already do work well together. Huh? No, really. Look at the clever ways you kept the princess delayed. Fabrics, balloons, flowers. I mean, it'd be better if you told her the truth. But that? <laughs> that took a lot of teamwork. Well, now that I think about it, we did plan that well. <laughs> yeah, your fabric idea was pretty clever. Oh! <laughs> and your peasel puff gag. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure I want to know what a peasel puff is, but do you understand what I'm saying? So? I think we're going to give the play area another shot. That's great! But it's still gonna be a lot of work. Do you need any help? Thanks, that's very kind. But I think Raspberry and I should do it. We have our reputations to uphold. Oh yes, and we promised the princess together, so we need to, you know, complete it together. We don't have much time. What do we do? We could work on each project together until it's done, and then we'll move on to the next one. What do you think? Great idea. Really? <laughs> really. Very best friends forever. Never let each other down. As long as we're together, things will always 
They could do it. Look, the princess is coming. Quick, let's put up the ribbon. It's perfect. Very perfect. Princess, would you please do the honors? I now declare this Berrykin Daycare Center open. Job. We only did the ribbon. There are your makeover superstars. Lemon, raspberry. I love the play area. It's exactly what I wanted. It's colorful, vibrant, stylish, and fun. Both modern and old-fashioned. Thank you, Princess. And we apologize for all that trouble we put you through yesterday. No harm done. <laughs> She didn't even care who did what. She was just so pleased with the result. She was impressed with the team. And so am I. Thank you, Strawberry. Thanks. Righto. And I can't wait to work with you again. Mm. How about working on a nap? <sighs> yes. You got it. <sighs> Partner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't for you. <laughs> Come on, Custard. Down you go. So, you just squeeze the bag gently. Make the frosting come out as you go. Like so. <laughs> nice. Really nice. You're so good at that. Oh, pretty. <laughs> just takes a little practice. Anyone want to try? Lemon? Oh, I just know I'm going to mess up your pretty cake. Don't worry. No matter what it looks like, it'll taste the same. Hey, these don't look half bad. Whoa! She didn't mess up the cake. Oh, I apologize for bursting in. I'm just excited because I have some special news. Sounds like something very special. What is it? We Berrykins are bringing back an old Berrykin tradition. The Berry Bitty Buggy Derby. Oh, I remember hearing about that. I don't. What is it? The Berry Bitty Buggy Derby used to happen every year. American drivers race their cars around a track for a championship trophy. Oh, that sounds neat. Uh, why did they stop doing it? We got too busy with the harvest for a few years. Everyone sort of forgot about it. It's a shame. You sure seem to have high hopes for it now. Oh, yes. It used to be so much fun. If things go well this year, maybe it could become a regular event again. Oh, wow. That'd be so nice for you. Why do you keep frosting me? Do I look like a cake? <laughs> you do now. The Berrykins are getting the racetrack ready. Would you girls be willing to arrange all the social events that happen before the race? Sure will. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. Absolutely. Oh, uh, if I remember correctly, the derby was very formal with a lot of peculiar traditions. Yes, that's true. There are some very formal manners associated with the derby. Manners that we rarely use in everyday life. Uh, you might want to... Oh, girls, I'm sorry I'm late. I was researching cake decorations and forgot about the time. Is the demonstration over? 
Blueberry, you interrupted the princess. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry for interrupting. I didn't see you. That's all right, Blueberry. Now, as I was saying, manners. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blueberry. I was only kidding. You gave me a perfect opportunity for a joke. Yes, we all know it's very unlike you to be late or interrupt. I was just about to say to you all, you might want to brush up on the traditions and etiquette of the Derby while you're preparing. Here's a schedule of the events to be planned. Thanks again. You're welcome, Princess. Planning? What are we planning? The Bitty Berry Buggy Derby. You mean the old Berry Can Car Race? I've read about that. Great! You can help us plan the events. The introduction ceremonies, where the drivers show off their cars. Oh, and the Buggy Ball. Oh, I bet everyone gets to dress up. Decorations for race day itself? I've got some great stuff in my store. <sighs> Let's make this the best derby anyone's ever seen. For the princess. Yeah, so she can get her wish to have it every year. <laughs> Actually, that's starting to be my wish. I want to help the princess too. It would help me make up for having such bad manners and interrupting her. Don't worry, Blueberry. You're about to become our resident manners expert. Me? Of course. I'm sure you're the only one here who would have a book about derby etiquette. You know, proper manners and behavior for the derby. Actually, I think I just might. <gasps> well, it took a while to find, but... The Big Book of Berry Bitty Buggy Behavior. This should tell us how to act in any buggy derby situation. Oh, look! It says that on Berry Bitty Buggy Day, everyone is supposed to bow before talking to the princess. Why? Nobody usually bows to her. It's a formality. Kind of... a special set of manners just for the occasion. But aren't manners something you do to make people feel comfortable? Yeah, if the princess isn't usually uncomfortable when we don't bow, why would she be uncomfortable now? Well, it's also a tradition, which is a way to show respect for how things used to be done. Oh, here you go. For the introduction ceremony, it's traditional to wear one pink flower. Why pink? It may not match my outfit that day. Because that was the favorite color of Princess Bertha Berrykin, who had the idea for the race. It's kind of a way of thanking her. Oh, that does sound nice. Okay, so we gotta remember to bow, wear a pink flower. What happens if we forget and do something wrong? It's okay, Blueberry. Don't worry about being perfect. We'll just do our best. Now, let's go. We've got lots to do. But keep researching, Blueberry, and we'll see you later. See you Bye -bye. later, Blueberry. I don't care what Strawberry says. I don't want to goof up in front of the princess ever again. The Derby is the perfect opportunity for me to prove I can have perfect manners. The stage looks beautiful, girls. Oh, that was all orange. She has some amazing decorations at her store. Well, for all of your help, you girls will be the first ones introduced to the drivers when they arrive. Okay, I don't understand this one either. Why do we have to be introduced to the Berrykin drivers? Yeah, everybody knows everybody in Berry Bitty City. Acting extra polite can make an event feel special. It's just another tradition. Oh, Strawberry! Oh, hi, Baby Berrykin. What's up? Tradition. Well, a tradition is something that keeps being done the way it was in the past. Ooh! Why? Traditions are a way to remember the past and to celebrate it. Ooh! <laughs> I like celebrations! <laughs> <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Speaking of traditions, oh, 
I hope I can remember all the ones in the ceremony. Yeah, that's why I read the whole derby book three times last night. Huh? Okay, bowing, handshake, flowers, headstand. No, not headstand. Where did that come from? Look, here they come! <laughs> Why does every car have three bows on it? Oh, I know, I know. Because the very first race included only three racers, so we remember them with the three bows. Umbrellas, time for the umbrellas. Okay, now this tradition really makes no sense. Why would we open up umbrellas just because... Someone is driving. Because it's a tradition. <laughs> Very helpful. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Very Bitty Buggy Derby. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to have a wonderful time. So please, help me welcome the official Very Bitty Buggy Derby drivers. <laughs> Present our esteemed Derby drivers. <sighs> oh no, they've forgotten how to do the introduction. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. Phew. Done. <gasps> I bet she forgot. And with this traditional ceremonial derby scepter, I hereby declare that the derby has begun. <laughs> what a wonderful ceremony! Just like the old days. Thanks to you, Blueberry. I think you've shown the princess very good manners by so closely following the traditions of her favorite event. Thanks. I do feel I'd made it up to the princess for my bad manners earlier. At least a little. <laughs> <laughs> Evening. Uh, well, th th thank you, Blueberry. You're also looking. Offer to shake hands. Oh, yeah. Blueberry, what are you doing? Good evening, Miss Pudding. My, you're looking well this evening. That's what you said to the postmaster. It's me, Plum. I just want to have the best manners possible, so everything goes well. For the princess, don't you think you're overdoing it just a little bit? When it comes to good manners, there's no such thing as overdoing it. Hi, Berry King Blue. Don't forget to shake hands. Huh? Uh. This is the derby ball, after all. We have to be proper. Raspberry, it's impolite not to wait your turn. But, uh, Jadybug told me to go ahead of her because she's still deciding. No, no, no. No bad manners at this ball. <laughs> Orange, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just going to rest a second. Ooh, I was dancing my feet off out there. But, but you're slouching. That's not good manners. It isn't? Oh, 
Oh, it's okay. No one can see me, but somebody might. And what if it's the princess? There, perfect. Psst. Plum, is your napkin in your lap? Uh, yes. Don't chew with your mouth open. Wasn't going to. No elbows on the table. Do you see them on the table? Be sure not to slurp your tea. Ugh. Anything else? Yes, sit up straight. Hey, where's Blueberry? She's busy, minding everybody else's manners. What's that? Well, you see, she's been running around correcting everyone's manners whenever they make a mistake. She corrected me before I even made a mistake. She really needs to relax. Hmm. Hi there, Blueberry. Enjoying the ball? Well, no. Why not? Oh, Strawberry. I'm just so worried someone is going to offend the princess with bad manners. I think you should just try to have fun. You don't need to worry about how things are going. Okay. Just as soon as I finish the chapter on the salad fork, the misunderstood utensil. Go, go, go! Woo! <laughs> Plum, nothing's happened yet. I know, but I'm so excited, I can't wait to cheer. Crumbling Muffins Blueberry, you look exhausted. What happened? Oh, late night. Up studying. What were you studying? All the different times that it's good manners to say please and... <gasps> oh, thank you. <sighs> <gasps> what is it? I yawned. At the Derby, I yawned. Oh, Strawberry, do you think anyone saw me? The book says that's terrible manners. I really think it's okay to yawn. Uh, what? What? Raspberry is standing in front of someone shorter than she is. She may be rudely blocking his view. Bad manners! Bad manners! Bad manners! Uh-oh. Manners maniac coming our way. Quick, hide! Where'd they go? I could have sworn they were here a minute ago. Hello, everyone. It's just about time for the race to begin. Before we begin, I just want to let everyone know we Berrykins could not have done this race without the help of Strawberry Shortcake and her friends. <laughs> I also wanted to say I've so enjoyed having the race back again. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Maybe next year we can repeat it. So without further ado, I believe it's time for us to start. Oh no, that driver is about to interrupt while the princess is talking. The worst manners mistake ever, and I should know. Driver, don't interrupt when the princess is talking. It's bad manners. <gasps> But, um, uh, all I was trying to say is we, we can't start the race because this driver has a flat tire. Oh, dear. Oh, my. I, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Thank you for letting us know, sir. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Oh, no. Please don't leave. I was only trying to... to him in front of everybody? It hurt his feelings. And now he won't even come out of the cafe. And it's holding up the race. The rules say they can't start unless all the drivers are there. But I was just trying to make sure everything went well. I mean, why is the driver upset? He's the one who goofed up his manners. Um, actually, Blueberry, it's even worse manners to correct someone's bad manners in front of other people. I've been doing that to all of you, haven't I? Well, not exactly. I mean, not really. I mean, uh, yes. Yes! I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> of course. 
course, Blueberry. We understand. Learning the right manners can be very confusing. Oh, and I'd better apologize to the driver, too. Now that's good manners. Excuse me, sir. I just... I mean... I wanted to apologize for embarrassing you like I did. In front of everybody. I was nervous and just was trying too hard to make everything go right. I'm sorry. Well, uh... Thank you. <laughs> I, uh... <clears throat> I know what you mean about being nervous. This is the first race I've ever been in. <laughs> I was pretty nervous, too. Well... Do you think there's any chance you might be willing to go back and finish the race? Yep. I'd say those chances are pretty good. Sorry, the race was just so exciting, I forgot. I'm so glad you guys can understand and forgive me when I goof up. What can I say? That's what friends are for. <laughs> now, that was the most fun I've had in ages. Somebody ought to tell the princess that we should do that every year. Did you hear that? The princess will be so happy. Hey, Blueberry, you know what else friends are for? <laughs> Celebrating when something great happens. Just wait until I wrap my gift in this. 
Oh, excuse me, girls. I don't wish to intrude on your get-together. You mean give together <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, Mr. Longface. Come on in. We're just finishing up making our wrapping paper. And I need to mash the applesauce some more. Oh, if only I had a good masher. Would you like a taste, Mr. Longface? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Shortcake. I don't care for applesauce, sorry to say. Uh, just some tea, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect. I noticed that the whole town seems to be gearing up for something special today. Do you know what that would be? He doesn't know. It's First Frost. First Frost? Never heard of it. Is that like Second Helpings? Oh, Muffin Crumbs, I forgot! You haven't been in Berry Bitty City long enough to know what First Frost is. Wow! It's his first First Frost! <laughs> Why, it's just the biggest day ever! Actually, astronomically speaking, it's one of the smallest days, in that it's one of the shortest days due to the sun rising late and setting early. Uh, being winter and all. <sighs> As you were saying, when winter comes, there's a huge, special glimmerberry harvest. Everyone carves berry lanterns. And we have a glimmerberry ball. It signifies the first sign of winter time of year. It's tradition. And you give presents. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a fun little custom we girls have. The Berrykins and the Bumblebees and everyone have first for us traditions. Giving presents is ours. Secret presents. We each pick a name of one another and then we secretly give a gift to that person. Without them seeing which of us gave it. Last year, I got a new yellow and pink comforter. And I got a mile-long scarf with sparkles. Leg warmers for dancing on cold days. A beautiful chest set with multiple modeling clay pieces. A retractable step ladder. Oh, Can't wait. Yeah. I'll get this me yeah. too. Well, that sounds wonderful. I think Mr. Longface might be feeling left out. Let's invite him to be part of our secret gifting. That's so yes. sweet. Yes. Yes. Let's. Mr. Longface. Would you like to join our gift-giving tradition? Oh, my. I really don't think... Well, you needn't... Please say yes, Mr. Longface. We'd love it if you were part of our little tradition. Well, then, I'd be honored. Yay! <laughs> Great. But could I ask a favor? May we borrow your hat? My... my hat? Okay. Everyone, drop your name into the hat. You too, Mr. Longface. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> around and around, our names all go. Who gets whose is a secret that no one may know. Oh, I wonder who I got. Me too. Me three. And now for you, Mr. Longface. <gasps> Lemon! Oh, she's going to love this! One thousand and one ways to keep your books organized. <clears throat> this is gonna be the best first brush gift ever! A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically! Ten chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf! <sighs> no, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. <clears throat> It's her gift. Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see you. <laughs> so, I was thinking maybe <gasps> the green stripe would look better. Shh! Did you hear something? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I heard something. <laughs> Yeah. Hello? Oh my! That's the biggest first frost gift I've ever seen! Come to lemon! I can't wait to see what 
secret gift I get, though it can't be nearly as great as the one I gave Lemon. Oh, I wonder what it is! <laughs> wow, a book! A book about organizing books? Chapter 72, Big Books and Little Books, Together on One Shelf? Not as impossible as it seems? Oh, what am I going to do with this? But it is the biggest first frost gift ever. I got it! This is the perfect secret gift for my secret gifty. Plum! <laughs> She's gonna... So, you know, I just thought and thought about what to give my secret gifty, Mr. Longface. Something he would really, really like. <laughs> Thanks, Pupcake. And then it hit me. A plant for the entrance to his croquet club. And I know just the perfect plant. Oh, oops, I almost forgot my rope. <laughs> wow! That's the most ginormous first frost gift I've ever seen! I knew that was a good choice for Plum! Oh, nice! A book! Chapter 137, Sorting Your Encyclopedias. The A to Z of how to and how not to. Hmm... Maybe not exactly the most must-have gift I've ever received for First Frost. I know! My secret gifty Orange likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this! <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. Um, how about the 
is first frost, huh? It was as first frosty as a first frost can be, I thought. Very firsty, as a matter of fact. And our presents. Oh, I've already given. Yes, I did. First frost thing in the morning, actually. Really? Wow. Well, um, not me. I haven't given my secret gift yet. So you couldn't be my secret giftie, so you can tell me what you got because I didn't give it to you. <laughs> right? <laughs> What? I said... What? I said that I got a very big gift, but it wasn't quite right for me, and it was too big to store in the slot, so I gave it to Plum, who has more space in her studio! Plum! Aha! Oh, oh, where are you going? Uh, you haven't been rinsed! Very good. And one, two, three, one, two, three, twirl, two, three, twirl, two, three. So, two, three, um, two, three. Did you get your secret gift, two, three? Well, two, three. Really? Two, three. I don't have it anymore. Two, three. One, two, three. What? Two, three. I kind of felt my gifty would have more use for it. Two, three. Since she's always sorting stuff. Two, three. Oh, no. I gave it away. <laughs> now you'll know who my secret gifty is. You mean orange? Sorting? Yeah. <gasps> Don't worry, I won't tell. Where are you going? We still have the foxtrot to practice. Oh, it was tense, I'm telling you. I zigzagged past the cafe, ducked into the bushes, sneaked through the gazebo, hid under the bridge, doubled back, and I was there. Nobody ever saw me. And then I carefully set my gift down, knocked on the door, and ran. And what was your gift? Well, it was something I felt my gifty might use to rest her feet on while she's sewing. <gasps> Oops! Oh, I guess I gave away who my gifty was. I don't have a clue, but I have to run. See you later. Wait a minute. So Raspberry got the book from Orange, who got the book from Plum, who got the book from Lemon, who got the book from me. Did Raspberry give the book to me, or did Strawberry? And what about Mr. Longface? Oh, I forgot about Mr. Longface. This is very complicated. I can't believe no one liked my gift. I know I did. Strawberry? Oh. <sighs> don't look, don't look! Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I guess I spoiled your secret. Don't worry, you're not my secret giftee. It's Mr. Longface. But Strawberry, hibiscus makes your nose itch. Achoo! I know, but it's not a gift for me. Mr. Longface has been wanting one for the entrance to his club, and I just knew it would be the perfect gift for him. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. What's the matter, Blueberry? You seem kind of sad. You, um didn't happen to get a big gift that was a big book that you didn't like big time. Excuse me? No one liked my first Frost gift. See, I had this book on sorting books that I thought was great, so I gave it to Lemon after wrapping it up all in yellow paper and yellow bow. And then Raspberry gave it to me with blue wrapping paper on it and a blue bow. Unless it was Mr. Longface, but I don't think it was. So no one liked my gift. I'm so sorry, Blueberry. A book is a wonderful gift. That's what I thought. But maybe if it's for Lemon, it should be a book about something she likes. Like watercolor painting or skin care. You know how much Lemon likes those things. Oh. Oh. You're right, Strawberry. I was thinking about what kind of gift I would like, not Lemon. Not very first frost of me. You know, I know a book Lemon would like. I better get it wrapped and give it to her right now. Well, I'm glad that's settled. <laughs> I better get this to Mr. Longface right now. Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But, uh, 
Uh, I already got a secret gift. I know, I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So, here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding! Just what I always wanted! That's the perfect first frost gift for me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. <laughs> you wouldn't like it as much as the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. <laughs> Isn't this great? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, Raspberry. And look how high you can go, Orange. And those shoes really make you dance even better, Plum. Oh, I can't wait oh, either. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know that this has been a strange first frost, and I just wanted to apologize for not thinking of my friend Lemon when I gave her a gift. And I want to apologize to Plum. And I want to apologize to Orange. Oh, and I want to apologize to Raspberry. Oh. And I want to apologize to Blueberry. Do you forgive me? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll always think about the person I'm going to give a gift to in the future and not myself. Me too! <laughs> now that's what I call a great first frost. Oh, but hey, Strawberry, you never showed us your secret gift. Yeah! yeah. A super duper apple masher! Just what I always wanted. Mr. Longface must have gotten it for you. And he doesn't even like applesauce. Aw, isn't that sweet? Oh, what a nice gift! And so thoughtful. He gave a gift he knew you needed and would love. Seems like we could learn something from Mr. Longface. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, right. that's right. true. Achoo! Happy first frost, Miss Shortcake. Thank you so much for my apple masher, Mr. Longface. You're very well... But I thought it was a secret. Some gifts are so thoughtful, they can't be kept secret. And what did you get, Mr. Longface? I must admit that I have not received any gift at all. Did I do something wrong? Maybe there was some form I forgot to fill out. Hmm. Maybe you should check your hat and see if your name got accidentally left in there. My hat? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this is the best gift I could have gotten. And your smile is the best gift I could have gotten. Happy first frost, everyone. Why, yes, we do, Strawberry. Thanks for asking. Yes, we do. <laughs> then dig in. <laughs> what was that? Oh, is it the Fairy King Marching Band practice season already? No, that's not for another month. Wait. Let's go find oh, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we gotta see what this is. That is very exciting. What's going on? We want to announce... We want to announce... I beg your pardon. 
Oh, no, I beg you. After you. No, after you. No, 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 you first. No, 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 I insist. There's one ladybug argument coming up. <laughs> Why don't we say it together? What a wonderful idea, Sadiebug. We're starting a new club. And we want you to join. A club run by Sadiebug and Katiebug? But they're always arguing. How much fun could that club be? Unless it's a debate club. Behold! Our Good Citizens Club! See? We even have membership pins. A good citizens club? Really? They do seem to be getting along. Maybe they've turned over a new leaf. Make it a whole tree. Pardon me, but what exactly does a good citizens club do? What exactly is a citizen? A member of the community. So a good citizen is... A kind and helpful member of the community. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and good citizens do... Good citizens eat things. Like bringing soup to sick berry kids? Donating old clothes to the needy? Keeping very bitty city clean? Uh, sure. <laughs> and if you do something really good citizens -y, you get membership pins. <laughs> See? Ooh, a membership pin. And we even have a motto. Oh, what is it? Happy to serve others. Oh, oh wow, well, that's, that's just really great. Nice. Nice. Like that. <laughs> so, what's next? Do we do helpful things for the community and its citizens? You got it. Just do as many of those things as you can before our first meeting tomorrow evening at the Good Citizens Clubhouse. And then we can talk about uh, those uh, good citizens -y things that we all did. And think up some new ones, too? Definitely. Sure thing. Why not? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Super-duper really important, highly special Good Citizens Club first meeting reminders! Sorry, my fault. No, 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 my fault. Not mine. Please make sure you deliver all of them before tomorrow. Hi, Orange. I was thinking I might bring some snacks or something to the meeting tonight. Do you have any crackers? Hi, Plum. Sure. I'll get them. Wow, Orange. Pretty. Oh, isn't it? My Good Citizens Club membership pin. It came in the mail. Where's yours? Um, my mail hasn't come yet. <laughs> hey, Plum, what do you think? I created a whole new fashion statement to go along with my Good Citizens Club membership pin. Wow. That's a very creative idea, Raspberry. I love it. Nice outfit, Raspberry. Oh, wow! Oh, you look great! Oh, yes, fantastic! I have to go check my mailbox. I can't wait to see my pin. <gasps> I didn't get one! Why didn't I get one? How am I supposed to go to the meeting tonight without a membership pin? I don't understand. Well, I'll just have to ask the ladybugs what happened. Maybe she went to do a good citizen thing by herself. Well, I'm sure she'd like to join us. It's way more fun to work together. Let's leave her a note on the door. We'll tell her that we're over at the Berry Grove helping the Berrykins dig a new path for a stream so that it will go around the grove instead of right through it. Very good idea. Over here! No, over here! It'll be way better oh, good. here! You're here! here. about where to put the banner. Where, where would, would you put it? it? Uh, right in the middle? Excuse me, 
But the other girls have Good Citizens Club membership pins. And I'm just wondering what I need to do to get mine. Is there some sort of test or something I have to pass to show I can serve others? Uh, Plum, would you mind giving us some privacy for a moment so we can have a, um... A, um, <clears throat> club leaders conference. Of course. I'll be just right outside ready for my test. You forgot to send her pin. Did not. Must have been you. You're always forgetting something. Uh-uh. Yeah, huh? Uh, yeah, huh? What are we going to do? We can't lose her as a member of our club. I guess we'd better give her a test like she wants. Oh, uh, right. But we don't have a good citizens club test to give. Well, she said she wants a test on serving others. Oh, Plum! Ready to show I can be a good citizen. Do you want to be in the good citizens club? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. Yes! You must take the test of good citizenness. Whatever it is, I'll do my very best. Yes, yes, yes. So, your first test will be to paint the clubhouse inside and out so it looks nice before the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club. Inside and out? <sighs> uh, is that too hard? Because instead you could... Absolutely not too hard for me. I am happy to do my best to make the Good Citizens Club look fabulous for everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. Start on that side. You're blocking my tan over there. <laughs> I don't know. I think that blue clashes with my eyes. Can you do a lighter shade? What's that? Here, give me the paintbrush. That's more like it. That looks like a rabbit. It looks like a flower. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. <sighs> Exactly the way we wanted it! Are you sure you think it's not good? Should you do it over? No, no. It looks terrific. Really. Let's wait to get the other member's opinion before we go changing anything. So is that it? Do I get my pin now? Well, uh, you finished the first test. Congratulations! First test? How many are there? Uh, a three. Yeah, three's good. Yeah, we always use three. Uh huh, three. Oh. <sighs> I wonder where Plum is. Yeah, she's missing all the mud. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Just what exactly does this have to do with being a good citizen? Well, all that painting made me hungry. And all that painting made me thirsty. And obviously, we need snacks and drinks for tonight's meeting, right? Yes. I actually have some crackers I was gonna bring. That's it. We'll need a lot more than just crackers. And drinks, too. And we need to sample the snacks and drinks first, of course. But what does snack tasting have to do with good citizenship? It's, um, making sure it's good. For the citizens, of course. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy, Happy to, to serve, serve others! I can make peanut butter and glimmerberry sandwich surprises. Blueberry and lemon will like those. And kiwi smoothies. Huh. Dear Plum, when you're finished, we are over at the Berry Grove helping the Berrykins dig a new path for a stream. Oh, no! The other girls are already doing good deeds for the community. I'm so behind. I've got to hurry. <laughs> Miss this. A little 
of this, a little of that, and a little more of that. Mom! Are you there? Well, our note's gone, so she must have gotten it. I wonder what's been keeping her busy all day. I know. Let's leave her another note. Sorry we missed you at the Fairy Grove. I'm sure you've been very busy being a good citizen. See you at the meeting. Love, us. Ew! You call this a snack? How about this one? But the snacks aren't just for you. I thought this was about the other club members, too. Uh, oh. Well, okay. These'll do. Time to move on to test number three. Number three? You're only one test away from your membership pin. Well, okay. But this is the last one. Just give us a sec to have another club leaders conference. <laughs> Flowers in the community garden is a great project for the Good Citizens Club. And I have all the right things to do it with. And I have just the right design for it, too. This is gonna be great. Plum will love it, too. She loves planting flowers. I wish I knew what she was doing all day. It's almost time for the club meeting. She definitely wouldn't miss the first meeting. She came by this morning and picked up some crackers for all of us. That's so nice of her. Let's go by and pick her up. Well, did you decide yet? What's my final test? Uh, this place could use a little color, but I already painted it. Pink, like you wanted. What she means is color and fragrance. So, cut some flowers from the community garden to decorate the clubhouse with. How about I gather some flowers from the forest? But the prettiest flowers are in the community garden. You aren't supposed to pick flowers from the community garden. Those flowers are for everyone to enjoy in the garden, not for us to take home for ourselves. I'll pick some flowers from the meadow. My favorite ones are in the community garden. But community service isn't about what your favorites are. Don't you understand? If everyone picked those flowers for themselves, soon there wouldn't be any left. And no one in Berry Bitty City would be able to enjoy them anymore. Uh, we could enjoy them. We thought you wanted to serve others. Others like us. We thought you wanted to be a good citizen like everyone else in the club. <laughs> well, are you going to pick those flowers? No. Saying no is simply unheard of in the Good Citizens Club. Then I guess I can't be in your club. <laughs> can't be in our club? But, but you, you have to be! I'm sure you've been busy being a good citizen. Fellow good citizen, you've been doing good citizenly things. <laughs> Gee, was it something I said? Something certainly not right. Plum? <laughs> What's wrong, Plum? Tell us. We're your friends. I'm not a good citizen. What? But Plum, you're one of the very, very best citizens I know. I... I didn't pass the test that you all passed, so I'm not in the club. Test? What test? I didn't take any test. I didn't take a test. Did you? Nope, not me. I don't think anyone did. What are you talking about, Plum? The ladybugs didn't give you tests? Then how come you all have membership pins and I don't? Didn't yours come in the mail? 
I don't know what's going on, but I think it's time for us to have a good citizen word with the ladybugs. That one. No. That one. You call that a flower? Now that's a flower. <laughs> and like you would know. Are you saying I can't pick a flower? I am saying that you couldn't pick a flower to pick if the flower picked you. Uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Early for the meeting, are we? We're here to find out why you gave Plum a good citizen's test and not any of us. Um, sorry. Uh, we can give you girls tests too if you want. <sighs> Why would any of us have to take a test at all? Especially Plum. Plum is always a good citizen. You weren't going to cut the community flowers, were you? Um, well, yeah, because Plum wouldn't, so we have to. Plum wouldn't? No, it was her final test. But she said no. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, excuse me. How come I never got a good Citizens Club membership pin, but everyone else did? We don't know why you never got it. We, um, mailed your pin out with the others. But, but what about the tests? We sort of, kind of got the idea from you. Me? Well, you seemed like you really wanted to take one, so... Because I thought all my friends had. You don't have a clue about what makes a good citizen, do you? <laughs> Why did you start this club anyway? Well, um, so we could be in a club. And be, you know, really popular. And be the leaders. Like the bosses of the club. No one's ever wanted us in a club before. I guess now we know why we're not very good citizens. Sadie Bug, oh, Katie Bug. I think your idea for a good citizens club is a great idea. You do? But you definitely didn't follow your own club's mission. Happy to serve others. You have to be the ones to serve others, not others serving you. We're so sorry for not acting like good citizens. And we promise we'll do better from now on. Strawberry, will you take over as club leader? I'm glad to see you've learned your lesson, but hmm, I know someone who has already proven she'd make a perfect club leader. Cutting the community flowers and taking them for yourselves isn't being a good citizen. But saying no to something you feel is not good for the community was a brave and very good citizen-y thing to do, Plum. idea that the club do something good for the entire community by planting more flowers in the community garden. And after that, we can spruce up the town gazebo. And maybe some warm scarves for the fairykins for the winter. A stylish ones, of course. And we can, um, um, um... Oh, 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 oh! We eat snacks! <laughs> for our club to do. I call for a vote. All in favor? Aye! The ayes have it. Aye! <laughs> and now I officially declare that at the close of our first meeting of the Good Citizens Club, we should sing a song. 